solar panel warranties protect your solar investment and are an important part of any solar installation. There are two different kinds of warranties that keep your panels covered and understanding the difference between them and what products feature the best warranties is important to making sure you get the best deal for your solar system. But before I dive in, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And of course, if you are someone that lives in our area of Southern California, then visit us online to receive a hassle-free quote and learn more about the products we offer and why we've selected them because of their warranties. So why is a solar panel warranty important? Well, a solar panel has two warranties typically, a performance warranty and an equipment warranty. The solar panel's performance warranty will typically guarantee 93% production at 10 years and 85 to 90% at 25 years, depending on the manufacturer. Some manufacturers are starting to extend this warranty to 30 years at 80%, but you'll realize after watching this video that that's more of a marketing gimmick than an actual improvement in the technology compared to the industry standard 25 years. The other type of warranty is an equipment warranty, which most major solar brands like LG, Qcell, Solaria are offering a 25 year warranty without failing their product. But the industry standard is typically 10 to 12 years. So if you're shocked by that, don't be. Now, a solar panel's product or equipment warranty covers the integrity of the panel itself and protects you against problems such as manufacturing defects, environmental issues, premature wear and tear, you know, that kind of stuff. As with most warranties, a longer period is generally more advantageous to you if you own your solar panel system. But that's why I'm making today's video because some of the companies are extending these warranties with no real benefit to you as the consumer. And here's an example. See, a lot of homeowners sometimes get hung up on a 10 or 12 year equipment warranty, but here's the truth. If you have a 25 year performance warranty and the panel stops working at year 15, well, guess what? It's covered whether or not you had a 25 year equipment warranty because of the performance warranty. It's not working, so there's no performance. So now you have to ask, what problems can a solar panel warranty actually prevent? Well, if you install a solar system for your home or business, your most likely scenario is that your panels will perform trouble free for three or more decades. We're talking 30 plus years. But solar panel problems do occur. I'm not gonna say they don't, it's very far and in between. I, I think most panels have a failure rate of less than 0.01%. Now, if you happen to experience an issue with a solar panel after it's been installed, it's important for you to understand that the rest of your system will not be rendered inoperable by any long shot. In all likelihood, depending on the nature of the panel failure, the rest of your system will continue to running with the failed panel left in its place, you know, just doing nothing. And this is mostly true if you have end-phase microinverters or a solar system using optimizers like SolarEdge. In either case, it's the solar panel's warranty that will cover you if you ever need to get a bad panel swapped out for a new one. Evaluating and comparing the warranty coverage of a panel manufacturers can help ensure that your service and support needs will be covered if a solar panel problem ever occurs, but also the company that did the installation. So keep that in mind. Manufacturer warranties are therefore an important component to consideration in assessing not only a panel manufacturer's technical specifications, but also it's business practice. The last thing you want is some random panel that really not a lot of people offer because you're not likely going to be able to find one to replace it in the future or it might be harder to get. Another good follow-up question you should ask yourself is, why does a solar panel warranty matter? Most of us don't realize that a solar system is a multi-decade investment and your return on investment is directly related to the amount of electricity your solar system generates year after year after year. The electricity generated by your solar panels allows you to either buy little or no electricity from your utility provider 
and the less energy your solar system produces, the greater your dependence on the utility grid is. It's a zero sum game. If the panels in your solar system degrade quickly over time, then you'll derive less long-term value from your solar system than if your panels degraded more slowly. But don't be fooled by the gimmicky one of one-off warranties. Many manufacturers tell you the maximum amount the panel will degrade, and I put an emphasis on the maximum amount. This is typically like 0.5 or 0.6%. Now, this leads us to our next question. What is a solar panel performance warranty? Well, the amount of electricity a solar panel produces declines slightly every year. This is true of all solar panels, but to a varying degree. Like I said, it could be 0.5% or 0.6% year over year. A common, mix, a common practice in the solar industry is to guarantee that the panels will not lose more than 10 or 20% of their power output capacity over the first 25 years and is a crucial benefit of a good solar panel warranty. In other words, panel, manu panel manufacturers generally guarantee that their panels will produce electricity at 80 or 90% of their power output rating at the end of 25 years. Performance warranty coverage is yet another indicator of a panel manufacturer's service and support policies in the event that you ever encounter a problem with your solar system whereas product warranties issues are fairly straightforward to demonstrate either your panel is working or it's not now keep in mind if you didn't have an you know a product warranty that was 25 years if it's not working it's obviously going to fall under a performance warranty at that time now proving that experience of a panel not working uh, compared to a panel performance problem that should be covered by warranty can be far more subtle. The reasons for which are beyond the scope of this brief video. Trust me, we had to do it for one system and we removed like 38 panels just to find one that was underperforming by like 0.1%. I mean, it was freaking marginal. <laughs> so suffice to say that higher 25 year performance warranties usually mean slower degradation rate and are viewed more favorably than lower performance warranties but as a practical matter the performance warranty may be a better indicator of a panel's intended degradation behavior than of its manufacturer's support practices so keep that in mind that that follows what i was saying if you see a gimmicky kind of warranty from a manufacturer and no one else is offering that brand, it may not be a good brand to go with. But now I can touch on why a 30 year performance warranty is more of a gimmick than an improvement. We're seeing smaller off brand solar panels offering 30 years because they're losing against their competitors. In order for you to fairly compare a 25 year performance warranty to a 30 year performance warranty, you need to look at the rate of degradation that every manufacturer discloses either in their warranty terms and conditions or on the spec sheets. A lot of them put it right on the spec sheets. What you'll find in almost all cases is the rate of de degradation is typically the same. And that means your 25 year warranty name brand solar panel will likely have the same power output as this off brand with this random gimmicky 30 year performance warranty. So you're not really gaining anything there because your solar panel doesn't know it's been 25 years and all of a sudden stop working. It's going to keep working. It's and it's going to continue to follow its rate of degradation. It, if it even is degrading at its maximum amount, keep in mind, manufacturers did a lot of research and development to come up with these warranty rates. So you bet your butt, they're not warranting it into a point where they know it's going to hit that. They're warranting it knowing it's never going to hit that. Now, in some cases, the 30 year is slightly better than a 25 year, but the best I've seen in the industry is 1%. It was like 1% better than, than this other brand. So it just is such an insignificant difference that you can easily overcompensate this with a extra panel for your entire solar system. So, that kind of eliminates that 1%. Well, that's it for this week's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful in understanding the difference between the two types of solar panel warranties. 
And if you live in our area of Southern California, don't forget to request a quote from us. We offer a range of solar products, but our top three brands are Qcell, Solaria, and LG Solar, which all three of them offer a 25 year warranty on product and performance. So use that link in the description below to request a quote. And hey, while you're down there, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again, until next time.